Tony Campos here uh, on tour with Static X and uh, Dream Tour. Um, the, uh, yeah, I think it already happened. Um, well, we were on, uh, what was it, 2002 or something? Or one, 2001. And we were on uh, the Extreme Steel Tour with uh, Pantera, Slayer, and Morbid Angel. Three of my favorite bands of all time. And uh, I got to see them every night for six weeks and still to this day that's like you know the the best tour the most fun i've had on tour watching you know the, the three of my favorite bands of all time that i would have kicked myself had i said i'd be on tour with them uh you know when i was a kid so uh, yeah that was my dream tour right there yeah there were a lot of really cool moments on that tour um uh, for the first couple of weeks of that tour, uh, I had a broken collarbone, so I had a buddy of mine playing bass for me, and I was just on stage doing my backing vocals. And I remember the first night, or the first day we got there, and uh, it was like a rehearsal day, and uh, Pantera was sound checking, they were setting up, whatever, and uh, I, I see Phil on the, on, the, on the floor, and you know, he's like, hey, what happened? And so I told him how I broke my collarbone, and he comes up to me, and he's like, well, Sorry you're hurt, but I'm glad you're on the tour. And he's like pats me on the shoulder, and I'm like, man, you know, I broke my collarbone, and I was like, ah. Uh, and I had another moment like that because um, me, me and Phil would sit on side of the stage every day and watch Morbid Angel, and they they were on stage uh, do, going through a song, and Phil uh, he's sit he's sitting uh, he, he's sitting to, to my right, and uh, and he's like, hey man. Watch this move, Pete does. Pete, Pete Sandoval, an amazing drummer for Mormon Angels. Hey, watch this move, uh, Pete does on the drums here, and he, do, he does this thing where he's like doing a blast beat, and then he just like inverts the beat, and and, and he's like, Did you see that? And tap me on the shoulder, and I'm like, ah, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> and, but uh, the coolest moment for me on that tour was uh, getting to play Long Beach Arena. Uh, I went to my first show there and smoked weed out of toilet paper there. Um, it's another story. Um, and then I, after the show, uh, I was in the backstage area and uh, Dime was still in, in his uh, dressing room. And so I went in and said hi to Dime and just thanked him for being on, on the tour and uh, you know told him how much it meant for me to personally be there at Long Beach Arena and you know, and how big a Maiden fan I was, and, and how that Live After Death record was recorded there, and and he was like, oh yeah, I love Maiden, yeah, I love that record, and so you know he like he like totally got why it was so you know such an important uh, important show and, and tour for me. So it was really cool to have that moment with time.